Hello, this is John Smith. Welcome to the Psalming Effect. And today I want to share a meditation with you from Psalm 62. And uh, But before I do that, I want to tell you something by way of illustration uh, and show you something. Uh, I found a water bottle today in my curling equipment. I have a bag that I take to the curling rink with me uh, and uh, curling obviously I'm talking not about anything I do with my hair. Curling is a sport that we play here in Canada and uh, in the winter time uh, that's what I do for exercise and and to stay in touch with a lot of people in, in this community. Uh, there's a lot of people who love curling and so I go curling. And curling starts tonight uh, for, for the season. And so I, I dug out my curling bag and, and, uh, and it felt a little bit heavy. And, uh, and so when I dug around in it, I found this water bottle. Now, this water bottle has been sitting in my curling bag for almost a year. Last year, curling got shut down almost as, as soon as it got started. And uh, so I packed my curling bag away when eventually I accepted the fact that we weren't going to be able to resume. Uh, but now they've decided that we will be able to do some curling. But this water bottle, uh, now it, it was full of water. Uh, it's got water in it again, but it was full of water. And I thought, you know, uh, that water's been sitting there for a year. Uh, partially, you know, it had been opened and I, I drank some of the water, but I thought, you know, I should just probably pour this out and put some fresh water in the water bottle. And so that's what I did. Because likely that stale water that's just been sitting inside the bottle for so long uh, will not really do me any good. In fact, it might even do me some harm. Uh, let's put fresh water in so that I have something refreshing and good to drink uh, to keep me going while I'm curling tonight. So that's what I did. I poured out and refilled the water bottle. Now I'm ready to read to you from Psalm 62. Psalm 62 and verse 8 says this, Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Now there's a lot of other great things in, in Psalm 62. There's 12 verses there and so I would encourage you to spend time today, really every day this week, if you spend a few minutes, 10 minutes, uh, each day this week, you'll find lots in that psalm to encourage you. But this is the encouragement I got from the psalm, especially when I related it to my water bottle that I needed to pour out. It says, pour out your heart before him. Why do we need to pour out our heart before God? What? Why would we need to do that? Well, it's actually quite related to why I felt it necessary today to pour out the water in the water bottle. First of all, uh, we get stagnant, uh, especially if we uh, have some uh, ways of thinking or maybe some feelings that, that we keep to ourselves and that we haven't shared with anyone, that we... Uh, that we just harbor inside, especially if there are any kind of negative thoughts or feelings that we have. They just kind of sit in there inside of us and they don't do us any good. And if we hold on to them long enough, they actually do us some harm. What we really need to do is pour them out. And uh, now we shouldn't just dump them on, on other people, uh, but a safe place to pour out our hearts is to God. Uh, if we need to do that by by lament, or if we need to do that by confession, if we if we need to pour out our hearts in anger, or in sorrow, or in fear, whatever it is, 
Uh, maybe it's even in doubt. Maybe we're just struggling. Maybe that's all it is. But we've been struggling for a while, and that that water of doubt, that water of uh, indifference, whatever it is, has been there too long. And we need to pour that out and give it to God and let Him let Him cleanse us and empty us of those things. But then the other thing that God does is that He refills us. He refills us. And I'm reminded of a, a passage in Jeremiah, uh, which I'd just like to read. Uh, it's a verse from Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed out cisterns for themselves, broken cisterns that can hold no water. So here's the second reason why we pour out our hearts before God is because we need for God to refill us. Sometimes it's not, in fact, usually it's not going to be helpful to just try and, and, and fill ourselves. Uh, we end up just running dry and we, and we need God. And uh, I mean, there's, there's lots of sources of thoughts and, and ideas and, and morals and purposes uh, that we could be filled with from many sources around us. The world has a lot of things to sell us and will call us to a lot of causes. But the most important thing is, is that we sometimes just need to clean house of all of those things. Just pour out our hearts to God and let him refill us. Let him re-encourage us. Let him fill us with uh, blessed feelings and good thoughts and solid ideas and strong purposes and and to to refresh us. Just like, you know, uh, I need the refreshment of water, especially when I'm, I'm busy doing something like curling. Well, we need the same thing in order to, to, to do everything that we do in life. We Spiritually, we need the refreshing Spirit of God to keep us going and to fill us and to overflow our hearts and uh, help us to be blessed and to be a blessing to others. So again, uh, I want you to be encouraged by this and I hope you'll take the time to think about what this means for you and I'll just read the verse again from Psalm 62 trust in him at all times O people pour out your heart before him God is a refuge for us in 21 he's still the one <laughs>